Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X407M model and in this video I'm going to show you guys and take you step by step through how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM or replace the RAM, whichever you want to do. If you have a defective RAM and you want to just remove it, replace it with the same one or just want to upgrade. These ones, they have a uh, 4 gig RAM from the shelf and people say, no, you can upgrade the RAM on this one. Yes, you can upgrade the RAM. You can go place an 8 gig RAM on here. Uh, it will work just fine. So the things that you're going to need to do first is power off the laptop. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. And we're going to be using a Philips number one. You will need an opening tool. You can get the pro sets of this one, which they include an opening tool and everything else. Or you can simply grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening cases. All right, once you have the laptop powered off, on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are three sets of screws in here. The short ones, which are the front end of the laptop, there are four of them. The medium size screws are the side mid and the back corners. Side mid and the back corner, there are four of them. Four, four short ones, four medium ones, and three long screws, which are in the back mid and the center. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, I realized that there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel. You can do it by clicking that like button on the video or subscribing to the channel or do both. I will really greatly appreciate it and it really helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions. And there we go. Now we remove the bottom screws and we're going to remove the palm rest. To remove the palm rest and the keyboard everything with it, you want to put the opening tool or the guitar pick in this case between the top and the bottom cover. And you want to twist it towards the screen. just. Go back and forward just like this until you see the case opening. Do the side, same thing on the corners on the side. Just push the case toward the front end, I mean the guitar pick towards the screen. It's a lot easier. There we go. Once you got the side and the front open, just open it up slowly, gently. There's a two ribbon cables here, flex cables. You want to remove them. The trackpad, you want to put your finger right at the back. Let me see if you guys can see this one here at the back. And you want to lift it up 90 degrees and slide out the flex cable. The keyboard is in the front end. Just lift up this cover and slide the flex cable backward. Now you can open up the screen even further and remove the palm rest. And down here, you're going to see the battery, the hard drive, the Wi-Fi board, and the fan right in here. You can go ahead and clean up the fan if you want. The RAMs are not visible in this side because they are on the other side. I have no idea why Acer or Asus in this case, they can't just simply put a little service cover hit, one screw, on a screw, and put the RAM in and out. They want to make your life miserable, so you have to go through the whole process of removing pretty much everything even flipping the motherboard so we're going to start removing the hard drive by removing four screws that hold the caddy in place there are three same size screws and one of the thicker ones the thicker screw by here is the one that touches the hinge so it's really easy to know so it's a little bit thicker than the rest now you're going to slide back the hard drive and lift up the hard drive. I already upgraded the hard drive to an SSD drive. If you want to watch my other video, how to upgrade. After that, we're going to remove the Wi Fi board by one, remove one screw and just slide it out. Now we're going to remove the jack for the fan. 
Don't pull on the cable. I just like pulling that from the side of the jack with my fingernail. Just put it right in there and just pull it out. To remove the battery, there's one screw and two screws. There's two screws. One of them is a thin one, is like a skinny one. The other one is a little fatter because it's touching the hinge. So this is a little bit thicker than the other one. To remove the battery, just lift it up a little bit and then twist, scoop it out of the jack towards the screen. And that's how you remove it. All right. I'm not gonna remove the LCD cable right now. So we're gonna remove the cable for the speaker. Just pull it back. Or put your fingers right beside the jack on the black side and pull them back so you don't rip the cables. Sometimes, you have to wiggle it around so for it to come. Pull the cables, don't pull the cables. And there we go. It takes a little effort, but it will come out. Now we're gonna remove the screws for the motherboard. They are really easy because they're identified, they're labeled by the little white arrow. So one, two, three, four, five, and six screws. Removing your motherboard does void the warranty because there's a little paper right on this one. There are two screws right here, one there, one right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and lift up the motherboard slowly, gently. Oh, we do have to remove the fan right here. Remove two screws for the fan. I thought you don't have to remove the fan, but let's go ahead and loosen up the fan because it has a little tape on it. So lift up the fan with the whole motherboard. Don't disconnect the flex cable, you don't need to. Just bring it over like this and you're gonna see the RAM right in here. And this is the worst heat sink I ever seen though. So the air has to travel to the canal right here and to pull down a tiny puny heat sink. So it's like pretty much useless. Anyway, so the, the RAM is right here. To remove the RAM, you want to pull these two triggers to a side, just like that, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree, and you want to slide it out in a 45 degree angle. These are DDR4 RAMs. You can grab an 8 gig stick and bring it, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim. So if you try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. So bring it like this, align it in 45 degree angle, Squeeze it all the way towards the jack and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear nice click and soft click on those hinges and that's how you upgrade the RAM. Now we're going to put it back together, bring it down, put the I.O. side down first and now this is the longest cable I've seen for a fan. Plug in the fan cable right there, only goes in one way so you don't have to force it. Once you put the fan, make sure that you put the fan cable nicely in there. Just accommodate right somewhere over there. So it doesn't come out. You can even push it to the sides. You can tape it down. So just leave it in the corner. Remove this tape, old tape that they're not even sticky. So put a new tape, use uh, any type. Captain tape if you want to. I'll just leave it there. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all the screws back together. Put the two screws for the fan first. Also remember, once you power on the laptop, it might take five to 10 seconds to detect the RAM and to adjust the RAM to a memory check. So don't panic. So remember the screw right here by the hinge is a thicker one. So grab this one over here. And the really top flat ones is the warranty screw, which goes in the corner. And then put the white arrow screws. Let's go ahead and plug in the Wi-Fi cable. Just slide it right through the jack. Make sure the screw hole matches nicely. And go ahead and put the screw on the Wi-Fi. Grab the hard drive. Bring it in offset position, slide it right towards the jack. 
put the four screws for the hard drive the tech screw goes by the hinge and the three of them just just go anywhere that you want on the caddy now go ahead and grab the battery bring it in this position first stick this side under the uh, motherboard or if you want to help a little bit so you don't stress the motherboard just remove this screw for now and just squeeze it right underneath and then scoop it right in there make sure this cable is not getting pinched and put this screw right there and the two screw for the battery remember the thick one goes there and the skinny one goes right here all right plug in the speaker cable don't forget that one and wi-fi connector fan cables everything is in place now we're going to grab the palm rest align it right there close the lid a little bit bring it over keep it in 45 degree open up the lock here and slide it from the back side evenly inside the jack make sure it goes evenly nicely and then you want to lock it down open the lock for the trackpad just slide it right underneath about one millimeter that goes in and then lock it down and bring it up and now what we're going to do we're just going to pinch between the top and the bottom cover align it it's not aligned right there it's aligned now you're going to just pinch it down any opening just grab it and pinch it and the last thing would be to just close it down and put the bottom screws remember the short ones are in the front end of the laptop the mediums are the side to the back and the long ones are the center to the far back side i hope again this video helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for the ram for your asus x 407 m model and if it did you know what to do click that like button and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it So these are the medium long one. If you guys have any question or requests, leave them in a video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I will try to answer all the comments and take requests from my viewers. So don't think that I won't answer. I always try to answer them. Again, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.